original owl is live right now. Everybody needs to report, 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 report. Let YouTube know what is happening. Report original owl's live stream as it is happening. Allow YouTube the time to see what is happening while it's happening before they can delete it. Report, 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 report now. Report now, report now. She's live right now. Go send in your cyberbullying reports. <laughs> I'm still gay! Everybody, I'm special because I don't fuck women! I don't like women! I. Turn the club into a freak show! Who's a new Who's a new Who's a new Gross, how Jewish ever. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. Like, Al, what are you doing? Nothing. Get a few things clear here. I didn't brush my fucking teeth. I took a shit in a fucking bag last night and I pissed in two diapers. Controlled substance of choice. I hope so. We're gonna need it for this street. Hello, Hooters. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Original Owl. If you're new here, Thank you so much for taking some time out of your evening to come and hang out with us. I hope everybody had a good dinner and got your bellies full before you came to see me. My belly is full of pulled pork barbecue and sweet potato french fries. It was so good. It was so filling, so good, so nourishing, and I'm so ready for this stream. And I see a lot of you are too. Welcome, everybody. It is Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. So get your caffeine, nicotine, preferred co controlled substance, whatever you need, because you're going to need it for this stream. All right. I'm going to do a quick hello here in a second. If you look above me, you'll see the member exclusive emojis that you get access to if you join this channel. And you can do that by clicking the link in the description and the links to support the channel and everything else are also down there as well so thank you in advance for checking those out everybody click over to live chat so that you don't miss any comments i'm going to do that as well um valentine girl welcome to al's next level chatters we do have a stream exclusive emoji as well it is the last one up there and it's a little bit cut off but it is a commercial space for rent and it says, call Negs in the little box. 
So you're going to find out why that's our stream exclusive in just a few minutes after we say hello to everybody. So that is the whole channel spiel. You all know what to do if you want to. And I'm going to go to the top of the chat and start saying hello. Let's do this. I am so excited. Oh, and let me fix one more thing and test it. Let me test it. No, no, you can't hold me accountable. I'm gay. Yes. I had taken that one down just because I had too many things available to pull up and I could never find anything, but that is definitely going to be necessary for this stream. Okay. Yeah. We're back to that again. So let me name this properly. Not accountable negs. That's what we'll name that. Not accountable negs. There we go. Perfect. So we have that ready to use. Perfect. Okay, let's say hello before we get into all of this. <sighs> Oceana Song, thank you for being first. Hello. Damn it, Amber. So good to see you. That girl, Leslie Boatman. Mm, my God, you, Oceana. Glory B. Hello, love. Millie Irish Girl. File Not Found. Good to see you out there. Texas One, always dancing your way into the chat. Thank you for being here. Chronic 420 Time. Courtney, Dora V, look at all my green members. I love it. Internet hate machine. Given that Ron wants to sell the attic and his comments about having no one to talk to, my concern is that he will do something rash if he feels he is trapped in the corner. Hide the guns, Clara. That's right. Oh, do we have? Yes, we do up there in the member emojis. We do have the no pew pews for you. And we do have to have that available often when we're watching negs. So again, yes, we're back in the basement. We are isolating. We are blaming. Blaming is the main thing that he does. That projector right above my head. Yeah, you're going to need those. You're going to need all of your member emojis, just like we always do. Okay. Let's keep going. Frenette Sparks. Franette. Frenette. However you want to say it. Kimmy Sunshine. Hello, love. Mr. Goose. Ponder Pains is here. That girl. I think I said hi to you, but hello again. Is this the live me from the other night where he boo-hooed or did he go live again? This is a live me. It's probably the one that you're talking about, the live me where he boo-hooed. And then we have a couple Facebook videos to watch from before the lawsuit came out and after the lawsuit came out. So we have a few videos to watch. He did go live over on the TikTok, but I don't know how much he actually said about things over there. I'm not sure if that was like a thing over there. He tries to keep it like, pull over on TikTok because he gets banned easily or gets videos removed easily if he says too much. I think he actually complains about that on this live me too. But yes, mayor of Cowtown, good to see you in here. Moo. Go diva or go diva, go diva, go diva, whatever. You can begin now. I have arrived. Thank you, God diva. That's what I was waiting for. Hello, Damon Salimi. Good to see you always. Dixie Wrecked. Love when I get to say hello to you. Oh, hello again, Ponder Pains. Dixie Wrecked. Fronette. Indie Girl 68. Evening. Good to see you as well. The Green Feces in Everyday Miriam's Throat. Instead of taking to the bed when depressed, Ronnie takes to the basement. He absolutely does. Green Feces. That is more than accurate. That is where he isolates to and blames everybody else in his life for all of the things that are wrong. That's what he's doing. Step-headed rum ham. Why hath Al forsaken us? I was late. I'm so sorry. I was getting everything so-so, and I know it takes a lot of people time to get here, which it was good. There was like 200 people in here by the time I got here. It was perfect. Worked out perfect. Wind chimes. Hello. bibbity bobbity boo Mm, Parker, Zoe's Purple Dragon, Cincinnati Fireball. So good to see all of you. I'm so glad you're all here. Awesome, awesome. Aztec Dove Kitty. Hello, love. If I didn't get you yet, I think we're nearing the bottom. Michael Hatfield. My entire chat is green. You guys don't know how much I love that, that the entire chat is green. And it goes so fast. I appreciate you all. I haven't seen any blue people yet. I'm wondering if any of my mods are available. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to watch close. Hey, no name. Hey, hey. Thunder Rain. Thank you again, Valentine Girl, for becoming a next level chatter. 
Hey, Dad. Okay, we have arrived. Oh, so many crying negs. Me, I love it. I love the emojis. Love the member emojis. Hello, Lyra, Lucy, Christy Claw. All right. Yes, let's get into it. You got your popcorn, whimsical Mimsy. Thank you, Cree. Maybe he'd take five thousand so he could talk about Hussy two more times before being in contempt. Maybe Cree. Maybe so. Yeah, everybody is talking about that now. About Ron agreeing to the terms. I actually wanted to pull that up. I wonder how fast I could find. I could that. have money selling my tits if I was allowed to sell them. Crash Cooter Coot for ten. The channel is getting so big. Am I still allowed to watch the stream in my underwear? and yell about my shortage of hookers and cocaine? Of course. That's all any of us do is sit around in our underwear and bitch about how broke we are. You know that, Crash. You've been here forever. That'll never change, ever. Please, get comfy, Crash. Settle in. Hey, RBF and Joda, Nundo, Starry Skies. Love seeing new names in here. Welcome. Luminara and Julie Pondu and old names, of course. DeVeo Greg. Okay. I will keep saying hello as people come in. Thank you all for being here. I'm so glad that you are all as excited as I am to watch Ron be not accountable for anything. It's one of my favorite things to watch. Absolute favorite. Put that away. Put the member emojis away. You all know all about those now. All right. I think we're ready. So, yeah, like I said, before we get into the live me, like the video that we came here to watch, which I cleaned up. I got rid of the background music. Thank goodness it cleaned up nice. Nice and crisp. It's going to sound good. So distracting whenever he has background metal playing and I speed him up and the metal is also sped up. It's I feel like I'm in a nut house the whole time that I'm watching. So glad that it cleared up good. But first, we are going to do a little compare and contrast. Oh, yeah. And I just said I wanted to pull up. I think everybody has seen it anyways. So it's not that important. But you know me. And I have it right here. I've, I've started really organized. We have a lot of lawsuits going on right now. We got a lot of community fighting, infighting. I have everything organized because if I didn't, it would just be total chaos in my head. Okay, redacted. Of course, we always want the redacted version, right? Of course. We're all about privacy here. Okay, where was that? That was like near the bottom whenever he was doing his plea for whatever it was called. No, leave me alone, Adobe. You already took enough of my money. Get the F out of here. Okay, I don't want any of this stuff about the bodega read. I just want to search for where it said that Negs agreed to the same terms as DC did. I think I'm almost there. I guess I could open this for you guys so you're not seeing nothing. How rude. But if I don't find it, I'm not even going to open it. I was just curious if I could find it quickly. Because that's a big part of this. I mean, he can't directly bitch about it, but he is indirectly bitching about it. Okay, I'll keep that pulled up in case I have time to look through it again. But most of you know that we found out whenever we read these new court documents that Negs is having to adhere to the exact same agreement that D.C. has to adhere to. And that is why Hussey is now suing them both in the same lawsuit. Nothing new online, I don't believe, like on the online court documents. There's no attorney listed yet. There's nothing listed about being served. There is a remote hearing scheduled for July 12th of 2024. So we will have updates on that as much as we can. Okay, let's get that video pulled up so you can see something, anything, right? There he is. So again, this is before the lawsuit was announced. I believe the day before it was announced. So we're just going to, like I said, do a little comparison. We might not get through the whole thing. It's nine minutes long, but I have it sped up to one and a half. So it's not that important. I just want to kind of see the new location and get a feel for how Ron was feeling before this happened because I just want to kind of show that it, this is a direct result of this lawsuit, this $300,000 lawsuit. 
that Hussey is bringing against he and Clara. Oh, Crash, getting in before we get started. Gifted five mm, memberships, mm, and Tomahawk mm, Sean loves um, that. Cree Indie Girl, Hey K, Hey K S, Sarah Lynn, and Chinny. You guys all got, yeah, no one else. You guys got memberships from Crash Cooter Coot. Thank you so much, Crash. Mwah. Welcome, everybody. We are way back above 400 members in our little cult. I love it. Love to see it. Yes, links to support. Trigger alerts and everything are in the description below. And yes, Crash. Crash, you are my only mod here right now. All my mods are busy. Of course, it's Saturday night. They're not losers like me. They're out doing something. It's not like the rest of us losers, right? I love you. Okay, let's play this. I'm going to have a little bit of smoky smoke. So everybody else, like I said, favorite controlled substance. Go ahead and partake. It's Saturday. Saturdays don't really count. I love you all, no matter what. Let's see. What would you Oh, hey there. It's RPC. Ronald Paul Corbin. Ronald Corbin. Nags. PD. RPC. Whatever you want to call me. But my point for being here is I am down here at 208. What says 208? Backwards. Anyway, 208 West 30th Street at the attic. I'm going to run you through the store, show you everything we've got, and I hope to see it. We're going to open here in about 20 minutes. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. We still got this. Steve the Vi Custom Ibanez. $400. Everything in this case it's is for like sale. Old times. You need this Come get that today. I'll take $5 off of it. Prince Albert cans. Five bucks a piece. There you go. Uh, there's a David Bowie bag. Yeah, five dollars. Jimi Hendrix Experience. I believe it's twenty. There's a House of Cash book. There's Nirvana books. There's Gigi Allen books. There's all kinds of stuff. We got Prince. That's Kurt Cobain. Look at this license plate. That's out right, of time. Diana. That's right. Uh, Light him if Ed, you got him. He's for sale. He's for sale. Just make me an offer. Uh, we got these rings over here. Of course, with every ring you buy, you get one of these free. We got all kinds of little cigarette rolling trays here. Uh, I guess we're getting a little low. We got Backwoods and some Rick and Morty. So Always I guess with the sales. Those. 50 caliber shot glasses. Look at the size of that shot. It's like a double shot, man. <laughs> Wi-Fi panorama camera. No, it's not a band from the 80s. It is a uh, replaces a light bulb. as in, uh, He's pretty it cheery. It, and right? it basically traces. Like if it sees your face, it follows you. We got this Pennywise backpack, just like you put on the back of your uh, Venom. Venom. Denim, rather. Uh, wireless controller. There's a video game thing. has 500 games on it. That's a humidifier. We got a uh, solar robot. We got this thing you hang up. You flip people off while you're driving. I wouldn't recommend it, but whatever. Uh, $25 micro cores watch. I'm also playing this because, as people have started to say, he is even contemplating just selling the store now. So there's a very big contrast between before and after the lawsuit. That's what we're showing here. Huge contrast. So he is not happy about it. Ron has a lot on his plate, to put it lightly. Ox, three dollars a pair, two for five flags, ten dollars. Or you know, but he's uh, so passionate piece, right hey, let's now. Do two for fifteen. So um, sad. We got our international snacks. How about that? We got drawers of body jewelry, patches. And the cellular accessories. We also got our sterling silver. We've got all of our different jewelry right here. Also, we've got your Trump stuff, Memento More. That is a throwing star. You put that in your wallet and this is a, a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, ID Please. holder. Pokemon, wireless headphones, all of our Lego dudes. We got all of our little horror characters back in. Everything. Right. Everything. Tiffany, he just shows everything. Uh, Chucky and all Every that. Day. Also, don't forget our keychain section. We got. Nightmare on Elm Street lapel pens. These are special ones. That's why they're $12. We got a Hellraiser keychain, which I'm going to put over here because I didn't even realize it was under there. So, wow, that's really cool. I didn't even realize we had that. <laughs> okay, anyway, we have all kinds of horror stuff, guys. All kinds of horror stuff. Get... Dove Kitty oh. has been a member for three months. Thank you so much for always being positive. I watch your streams over and over. Thank you, Dove Kitty. So many people have been, like, just telling me randomly. Joda, um, welcome to Isle's Next Level Chatters. Enjoy your 24 exclusive member emojis. But yes, I've had several people like get at me and tell me that they appreciate me coming on and appreciate the vibe I put out. And that's like the best thing ever to me. You guys know I love putting out positive vibes and praying for people and all that jazz. So I'm so glad that people are picking up what I'm putting down, if you get what I'm saying. That makes me very happy. Also, I see Kimmy. Are you going to show me YouTube? Hold on, Kimmy. I'm getting there. There we go. Kimmy Sunshine. Nope, it's not going to show me. I see something. There we go. Al, you should do a members only smoke sesh where all topics are game. We could absolutely do that, Kimmy, but I'm going to have to. That's Sam Tefler again. This bitch needs a lie for some Because I will not just remember that. Thank you again, Kimmy. I will have to write that down, but I would love to have a members only smoke sesh. I love our members only streams. Even though some people get upset because they're not involved. Every time I do a members only stream, somebody has to find a reason why I shouldn't have done members only. 
we'll save that for a different stream, right? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Let's finish this up. We might just get out of this and go over to the Facebook. Rectual mm, Deviant. Mm, Welcome mm, to Al's Next mm. Level Chatters. Oh. Enjoy the member emojis. Take them for a spin. Rose. Rose is here. Hello, my love. So good to see you. I was worried I wouldn't see you tonight. Mwah. So glad to have you. More members are joining the cult, Rose. Don't you love it? Hey, Sid V. Hardcore. Good to see you, girl. Mercy me. Okay, let's go. Queen Cat Lady, member for five months. Thank you for your chill oh. vibes amongst the craziness. Thank you. Mwah. That's right. We stay chill despite all the chaos. That's what we got to do. We have to. Let's, Who would okay, want to come and watch here, me be right? miserable? My you got God. your piercing gun, body piercing kit. Then these I'd are have to the help you roll your cigarettes and you put them in favorite. cones. I just helped dump that in there. Uh, these are good for uh, no, uh, resins. You. I take Shilajit oh resin, goodness and gracious. this is something I can store it in. Mm. Uh, these are Polaroid picture holders, of course, by the Alligator Clips. That's how you... Half late gifted five memberships. Mindful Pig, Struggle Lynn, Mercy Me, Cat C, and Starry Skies. You were all gifted memberships. Bye, Half Light. Thank you so much, Half Light. Mwah. Welcome, everybody. Hooray. Calling all the cows. Look at our cult. Thank you, everybody. Please click the like button. If you cannot click any of those links in the description, I would love it if you would just click the like button and chat in the chat and yeah, all that good stuff. Oh, look at that pause. He See, I told you he was in great spirits this day. Here, let's see. What is he talking about? Why is he? Look at him. Look at the passion in his eyes right there. Actually, I need to take a screenshot of this because that is just a great face. Great face. I'm sure I can use that for something. I'm very resourceful with screenshots. But yes, he was fine. Pre-lawsuit. Feeling fine. Showing everybody all his Timu stuff that he has in his store. Not nary a word about selling it. My gosh, it's not even on his mind. You can tell that that's what they're for. Uh, hey, these Red are uh, 3D printed Mar uh, Mario mushroom uh, or just mushroom valuable containers. We got these uh, jars cute here, which are old jelly oh. jars. That's right. Set of three right there. Those Bunch of vintage cute. Coke stuff, vintage glasses from bars. A Freddy Krueger purse uh 25 bucks all this jewelry made by local artists ten dollars a piece uh, i do believe and then we've got all these printed frames okay let's here. skip ahead oh, a little bit sterilizer uh, come in today and uh, five bucks toothbrush uh, sterilizer just right here. we got these guitars here seven strings there's two seven strings and ltd and washburn come buy them both for 350 i'll throw in both the different sizes uh that's for sale no gods no masters oh good he removed the sign from on top of the pants that told everyone that it was pants that's good okay we're done with that video we're done we saw what we needed to see he was cheery Great mood, passion in his eyes. All right. Now we're going to go over. Oh, no name. No name has gifted five original OWL memberships. Faith Ledlow, RBF, Sam B, Nivik, and Cinematic Jewels. You have all received memberships. Enjoy your member emojis this stream. Thank you so much, no name. Mwah. Thank you. So kind of you all. Okay, what do I want to open here? Let's go over to the Facebook because after the lawsuit was announced, there were a few little hiccups down at the shop. Let me find where I want to be. Most of you saw these. We'll go over them again real quick just so we have a timeline going. Browser. There we are. So we're over on the Attic official Facebook page. I guess that'll be okay, as long as I make sure you guys can see it. Okay, so right here. This was the day that we streamed, the day we found out about the lawsuit, which Hussey pretty much immediately announced it, and that was the day we went over all the paperwork. Uh, paperwork, Hussey Sue's, how, what did I name it? Hussey Sue's Negs in DC for breach of contract. I think that's the name of the live stream. So after that stream was over in the afternoon, they had posted closed today due to family emergency. Okay. And then up a little further, I apologize for a few unexpected early closures. We open daily at 12 p.m. unless we state otherwise here. I will post our hours on the window tonight so people will know. Again, sorry. Some things you can't help when you do everything alone. Much love. So they're already 
some things you can't help when you do everything alone. Ron and his passive aggressive. He brings his passive aggressiveness of the people in his life or to the people in his life onto the business Facebook page. Like that does not look good to potential customers. Like, ooh, that just gives you, you know, just a bad taste in your mouth. You don't want to see that shit whenever you're, especially chill people that would buy the mushroom things and all the trippy things that he's trying to, nobody wants to hear that shit. Definitely not the hippies. I know they don't. Up a little further still, we are going to be open until 7 p.m. Eastern tonight to make up for the two hours we were closed. Come see us. Oh, fantastic. But you were supposed to be open 12 to 8 at this new location. You said 12 to 8, rain or shine, never fail. I am going to be open 12 to 8. And that lasted like maybe a week, probably not a full week, like a three-day week or something. The first few days that he was open. And then it started. Okay, so the next day, can you guys see this? Let me double check. Yes, I am late. Lost my keys, LOL. Ha ha ha. So super funny. Lost his keys to the shop, you guys. Once I find them, I'll be opening. Great. Great, great, great. Fuck all the people that might have planned to come at that time. Gone. Welp, my house ate my keys. He literally said my house ate my keys like a dog ate my homework. I get it. He's trying to be funny like, haha. but no, it's just not funny. Well, my house ate my keys. Not sure what to do. Hopefully I can meet it in make. I assume he meant meet it in later and stay open until eight. Okay. So there's the eight o'clock. I told you guys it's supposed to be eight. And he's saying I'm open till seven to make up for the hours. I was what next? How does that work? Come on, Ron. I know you guys have your come on, Ron emojis. <sighs> Not sure what to do. Hopefully I can make it in later and stay open until eight. Sorry. The pack rats got my keys. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what the pack rats got my keys means. Excuses. That's all I hear there is excuses. Next, found my keys. Who is he talking to? I don't know. He's telling people, found my keys. Yay. We will be open at 3 p.m. Eastern until Eight, pending business flow. Pending business flow. We will be open our scheduled and displayed written hours. See you soon, exclamation point. Do you see this? We will be open at 3 p.m. Eastern until 8, pending business flow. Who told him that saying, pending business flow? Who told him that? I hope not you, DC. How embarrassing. I hope you didn't. Have I missed anything because I had it muted? I don't think so. I think we're good. If I did, tell me. But yeah, yeah, that's what he had to say about that. Pending business flow, he will be open his posted hours. I don't know where he heard that this was a thing and a way to get a popular business going. But I said over on the Twitter, I'm like, I would never would go back again. If I drove to your specialty shop, now you say it all the time, this is a specialty shop. You use the words all the time, which means that people are probably going to make a special trip since you're not in the mall or in the Walmart plaza. You're down there in the ideal parking lot or your regional equivalent wherever you are, in a strip mall, a little half shut down strip mall. Do you know how upsetting it would be to get there and you left early? Posted right there on the door are the daily business hours, 12 to 8, Monday through whatever, and, but there's no one there. Negs left. Family emergency. Lost his keys. Whatever. So anyways... This is yesterday at 2.56 p.m. So this is post-lawsuit. All that hullabaloo we just read about, that was because of the lawsuit. And so is the live me we're going to watch. But I just want to open up this video. I'm going to open up mine and speed it up and just see what his attitude is like after he is aware of the lawsuit. And then we'll go over and watch the live me. Okay? Sound like a plan? Negs after lawsuit 
every fucking time he has to do that weird start. Like it's his, I guess it is. That's his niche. That's Meg's, that's the best he can come up with. No name. Gifted another <laughs> five memberships. Salty Peach. Tammy Ripler, Ripley. The Bandit. And it's not showing me the next two yet, but two more people. Definitely got memberships from No Name. Thank you so much. I think everybody in the chat already got memberships and it just doesn't know who else to give to. Only three names came up. Goodness gracious. Well, hopefully it finds somebody to give them to. Have we outgifted the entire chat? There's 571 people here, but not everybody, remember, accepts gifted memberships because that would be us shaking them out of the tree. God, never, never will I say that on my channel. Okay, let me open this up so you guys can see it. Here we go. This is post-lawsuit. Finally found the shop keys. Went and opened the shop. Look at that. Now, see that picture I said? to look, And I screenshotted it so I can bring it up. See, this looks more methed out than passion in his eyes. You know, I told you to re remember that screenshot. I'm just going to bring it up right now, and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Where he had the passion in his eyes. This looks like he has some kind of, like, Ronnie's Clonies overload in his eyes or some kind of methamphetamine substance in his eyes. See, I'll show you the difference right here. Here, I'm going to show you. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I can't tell even which one's which. Wide-eyed. Okay. So here is the one that I told you to recall, okay? And then, so that's passion. This is the passion one I was talking about. Now, see how the dip, see the difference? You can probably see it now that they're side by side. Above me, passion. Beside me, ooh, questionable. Questionable passion. Yes, born to Hola. He looks a little sick. His eyes look like my 90 year old grandfather's eyes looked. Looked. Past tense. Not good, Neg. Your eyes look like someone turned your lights out, which I can understand. Like I said, you have so much on your plate other than Mima's pork loaf. So much beyond that. I get it, Negs. I'm just pointing out something. I have to, there, people are here to be entertained, okay? I got to use the screenshots and all the bells and whistles and things. Well, let's listen. Let's give them a chance, right? We give everyone a chance. It's you again. Hello. And welcome to the attic. So small. We're finally open. Only took me three hours to find my keys. So uh, we're open. We're gonna go here from three to question mark, and that depends on you, the customer, because it is Friday. And because it is um, Friday, uh, one of the busiest days. People get paid on Fridays, Negs, and they stop places after work to prepare for the weekend ahead of them. Did you hear what he just said? That depends on why. Oh, you. The, pe the five people that watch my stream and Al's audience. Hello, two days later, too late. Are you kidding me, Negs? Depends on the customers. That is not how you build a business. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. You don't say, oh, fuck you. I'm going to spite like Negs spites everybody. Fuck you. You didn't come on time. I'm taking my happy ass home. I'm going to go and go to the basement and complain about the woman I live with. Shameful. So uh, we're open. We're going to be here from three to question mark. And that depends on you, the customer, because it is Friday and um, uh, it is Friday because it's Friday. And I know what a lot of people do on Friday, but from Fridays, uh, what I do is uh, work, go home, play video games, and go to bed. Mm. We have all the same stuff in the last. And if you don't get to the store on time, the video mm. game part mm. comes mm. much mm. sooner. Mm. Um. Comfort doll. Oh, what happened? What happened? What's um, happening? I don't see it. Oh, it's the other two people. Okay, so it waited for people to come in that could be gifted a membership. That's nice Sam Tesler again. This bitch needs a life or something. So those dick. were from No Name. Comfort doll and Christina Thacker. Those are from No Name. Okay, that's who gifted those. And Lucy for one ninety nine. This is the most giving group I've ever seen. Oh, Lucy, the, my, the support in my streams is endless. Endless. 
Link's in the description. Don't be afraid of that Streamlabs link. <laughs> I, no, everybody here knows that I don't mean that. I do that in jest, I promise. Captain Spaulding, hello. Here we go. Thank you. It is also crazy, just entertainment for us, borings with money to use discriminately, discriminately as we choose because we work. Thank you. Here we go. I'm sorry that I'm not a better reader. Okay, let's continue. Video that I made? That's right. Oh, this stuff. Oh, we still got all the little lower energy, and everything. right? And even I got more so. back there. More t shirts. Oh, yep. We got the uh, you have a lot of clothes now, Rushmore. And we got this unicorn crippling depression shirt, which I feel like I should be wearing today. Uh, we got yoga mats. See, yeah, the yoga yeah, I used mats. to be across the hall from a yoga They're studio, still there. and not a one was sold to them. It's weird. Oh. But a lot of other people have been coming in by, and I know I throw shade all the time. He was not throwing shade in that last video pre-lawsuit. I'm telling you, this cast negs back like two steps forward and nine dozen steps back. I'm telling you, this knocked him back into last Tuesday. Time, it's, it's, I can't break the habit. Jeans. Come get some. Jeans on top of drum. Cool shirt, huh? All right, cool. We got belts. Garage sale. Got a Nightmare on Elm Street belt right there. See it right there? Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street belt. Hey, you can't make everybody happy because you're not a taco. That's what that says, I believe. We also got some cool... That shirt looks enormous. New Mickey... Yeah. Corona Mickey shirts in. Also... Rocky's dreaming. Oh. So, uh, uh, what else we I got love here? That. Let's see what else when we they got go. here. Let's get the F out. Yeah, all right. Oh, my God, Ronald, I can't with this. Yeah, you know what's up. Eat your damn broccoli, man. Show yeah, me your eyes right. again, Ronald. Fest. Like, I want to do a little cap what here. Are those called? Everything RSC. on him is for sale. I swear I will strip him down right here if you want to buy everything. Look at the horror pants he is wearing. Those are for sale. And You will 100% be wearing those in like a week, Negs. Don't even say you would not. You ordered those so that after they don't sell for a few weeks, you can be like, well, I don't have any clean pants at the house. I guess I'm just going to have to put Ed's pants on or whatever the fuck he named his. So is the Man Cobra again. cane that he holds. $5. The tag just fell off of it. $5 for that right there. Here, dude, hold your, your pip. Hold your cane. Yes, he's a pimp. Okay, good. Aunt Jemima pancakes because he's wearing... This ten dollars for the uh, apron, ten dollars for the sign. That's actually cool. Is that actually I'm gonna actually mark this old? thing down if it or keeps it just falling. Little? Here, just oh, there you Meg, go. Oh, stop! All right, metal we got all of our guitar it. stuff over here. I did get one more set of wireless guitar uh, thingies. Uh, you know, so you can plug it in and you know not have a cord. Embarrassing. Make your guitar wireless. I sold the last set and I said, well, that's one thing that's popular here, so we're going to keep stocking that. Something's I didn't go popular. over here yesterday, though. That is one of the things I didn't do. We got a ton of headphones. We got Dungeons and Dragons stuff. That thing back there, see, I got I to open this thing and close it every day, turn the TV on, so I got to fix this stuff. We've got a uh, 3D pin what? printer with uh, filament. We've got all kinds of headphones, a soundboard for your live streaming, a video making kit one of these things that basically follows you and tell like, me that's all of neg's old stuff that he just has no gives you the smooth anymore. movement uh we got some lighting back there it must be super cool vinyl coasters socks three dollars a pair or two yep, for five he sold one flags are ten dollars than any other item we in got the these store. 50 caliber shot glass that does make it popular uh, they're shot glasses 50 caliber bullet shot glasses more D, &D stuff a pennywise patch a really cool panoramic camera and on and on and on. He's Literally all the shit that I like scroll through and I'm like, who even buys that shit? Like who would buy that shit? That's all the stuff that Negs has in his store. Even for Pretty sale, much. make me an offer. $400. Uh, yes, the signs are for the sale. The brick that is from a hundred year old building, hundred year old plus building with a painting of a, of a crow on it. Everything in that case is for sale. Everything on uh, the signs are for sale. The brick that is from a hundred year old building, hundred year old plus building with a painting of a, of a crow on it. Everything in that floor. case is for sale. Everything on this case is for sale. The, the thing back there is for, for making necklaces. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time, too much You're time, me trying to figure out seconds. what to do. There you go. There's the lapel pens. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Unite. Hey. Okay.
Nope, not even letting you finish. Done. So that is post lawsuit at the attic nigs after he had to search the house for three hours to find his keys. How many different places does he go? Honestly, like he probably doesn't move from one spot for very long. Who knows? Anyways, why am I asking? I know the place is a fucking mess. He probably just tossed them across the room when he got home. Threw his feet up and started playing Call of Duty. All right, guys, let's get to this live me video, which I've so kindly cleaned up the audio. Like I said, it was just a mess. He was playing crazy loud metal music the entire time as he does. You'll, as soon as you see this, it's going to remind you of these times. Thank you, Leslie Salisbury, for subscribing. Thank you so much. You guys, look at that. Where, where's... How long has it been since we've been in the basement? I mean, it's, it's been a solid, like, two months. Maybe three months. Since we've been in the basement, like, this is not a joke. For people that know the Neg Lord, this is just not a joke. The basement has a meaning, okay? Even rock bottom has a basement. That's the meaning of this. Negs goes to his basement when he is at his lowest, lowest emotional level. Doesn't even want to talk to Claire. Wait till you hear some of the awful things that he says. That woman just frustrates me to no end. But that's for another video. It would be another three-hour stream if we got into why Clara frustrates me. Okay, let's do this. Everybody ready? I'm ready. Hmm, a lot of this coming up. Where is it? Yep. No, no, you can't hold me accountable. I'm gay. Yeah, a lot of that coming up. You cannot hold Negs accountable. He is indeed gay. Take it away, Ronald. Tell me why you're not accountable for any of the problems in your life. Again, post lawsuit, of course. Is there even a question? I'm not gonna make this whole thing drama, guys. I promise. I'm just in a really, really, really bad mood, and I've had nobody to talk to. Nobody. Okay, so it didn't fully are, clean. I know we're out here doing the jobs, having a real life and shit. The opposite of what I have. A normal fucking life. But there's nothing about what goes, but there's nothing normal about any of this. There's nothing normal about any of it. I, I, I guess this is my, I know you should do this before. Mother he said, I wish I just had a normal life. Nothing about any of this is normal, he's saying. Nothing about his life is normal. He just wants a normal life. But no, no, he does not just want a normal life. He wants to act the way he does, say the things he says, bring people down the way he does and have everybody fall at his feet and worship him because he's negs and he thinks he has a clever little thing on the internet. That's what he wants and that's why he's like this right now because he just nuked his fucking Rumble channel. Hundreds of videos. I'm sure he has them downloaded somewhere and so do a lot of other people. Poor Wick. Best negs archiver ever. Shout out. Let's continue though. Let's continue. He's already on it. As soon as he started, 100 miles an hour. Fuckers, I am out. I am out. I am still the king, but I am out. Still the king, but he is out. Still the king. I don't know where that comes from. Last time I didn't delete my channel because I knew I'd be back. Right? I knew I'd be back. He knew. I did this time because I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't care. I don't want to do it. So, yeah, what are the legal ramifications of him deleting his channel after we know he was aware of the lawsuit? I thought that wasn't, I thought that was like frowned upon. To delete any kind of evidence. I mean, I'm sure everything's been downloaded and documented after the documents that we've read. They have it, you know, written quotes, written out completely in those court documents. But isn't that a bad thing to delete evidence? Hey, Lumpy Space, 
Courtney Boucher, tell you, so many people here tonight. I love it. I love you all. So good to see you all. Please hit the like button, please. And thank you for all of the support. You guys are awesome. Hey, Sasha. Makes him guilty. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, that's a mad face. I can't even, I can't talk about what I want to talk about. Thank God I've got an appointment with the psychiatrist tomorrow, right? Yeah, thank God, right? I'll tell them about it. Thank you, Penny and Bethemis and Jana. What a welcome back. Thank you. Even though it's a little negative. God help that psychiatrist. Oh. But I guess it's my official statement. Like, I guess if you're not my child, I can't help you. I'm hoping that giving up a lot of this shit is going to repair some uh, relationships that I have uh, that have been strained. If you're not my child, I can't help you. I'm not sure what that does. Anybody have an opinion on what that could mean? If you're not my child, I can't help you. I'm not sure what he's alluding to with that. That threw me off. I could not think of one thing that he may have meant about that pertaining to him being sued and his life being abnormal. But he goes obviously further into things. I will do whatever I got to do to 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 take care of that. Whatever I have to do. I repeat, whatever it takes. What? Legally and positively, we know how people are. Oh, he said something. <laughs> it's up for interpretation like the Bible. <laughs> he lost me here. See, Texas says, He's referring to Clara, in my opinion. I thought that, but I'm like, you two are getting sued together. You signed that paper. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to look for that. But yeah, Negs signed the agreement right alongside her. Look at that pause, you guys. He is upright. Look at that. How long has it been since we've seen mad Negs in front of the death monarch? Can we even speak that anymore? Death monarch? I'm afraid to even say it. Doesn't exist anymore. He still has the mon monarch up, though. He must still be grieving. Oh, he's so mad. But, uh... <laughs> I took a screenshot. I needed a thumbnail. Smoking a blunt. Yeah, no, to therapy the other day she said what makes you happy you got to find peace you got to find happiness and i said that made me happy oh death monarch that did. And it wasn't just that it was it was cool to hang out with your best friend and your son right that made me happy but why are they gone why are they gone though Ronald, how come? Couldn't be because of your actions. No. no, no, you can't hold me accountable. I'm gay. I know. I know. I would never dream of holding you accountable for anything like that, ever. They just poof. They just left. No reason. No reason. Your own son. You miss your band members, including your own son. And you can't even take a minute to wrap your head around why that may have happened to you and your son. Everybody's stripping me of all my happiness. There it is. Except for my son. Everybody's stripping me of my happiness except for my son. Love that for you, Clara. But everybody else, yes, everybody. Uh, I mean, really, it's just, it's, it's not even on the internet, it's IRL. Everybody's stripping me of my happiness and my ability to be there for somebody. Are you serious, sir? So he had to throw in the yes, everybody, knowing that his internet audience would know that to mean plus Clara. Yes, everybody means yes, Clara too. Sir, you two signed the same stupid agreement. Everybody is like, How, what? How did Hussey's lawyer get that in the agreement? That Negs had to adhere to a settlement that he wasn't even a part of. He wasn't even a part of the case. Yes, he was mentioned in evidence but for him to have to sign an agreement in a case that he was not a part of unprecedented unprecedented 
impressive on Hussey's attorney's part. Right, Denny? Trouble in paradise? I don't know. What do you think, Russ? There's Russ in the chat. Always love to hear your opinion on everything. I can't focus on anybody else but him and myself. I can't. How can I? I can't. He means his kid. Like, I I, 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 I wish people, if they really truly understood, they, they would just understand. Like, Everything's so difficult for me. I've probably, with my Facebook post, just tanked my business. I offered to sell it earlier. <laughs> you do it again. Because because I'm in a, in a, in a uh, rough spot. Yeah, I didn't catch the Facebook post that he says he nuked his business. He said that he went on this long, ram rambling Facebook post about selling the attic, but I didn't catch the post where he said that. Wish I would have. Shame on me. But he's got to talk about it. I'd sell the whole goddamn thing right now for 10K down to the last screw. That includes all the inventory, everything. There you go. Who wants it? 10K. He will sell the whole entire thing, all of his in which is all he has is inventory. That building is not his. So Negs is just saying he will sell $10,000. All of the team is shit, all the guitars, everything. 10 grand. Who wants it? Who wants Neg's garage sale? Ten grand. That's the price tag that he puts on it. And he used to say he was gonna make a hundred grand in his first year of business. By the trademark, that's gonna be twenty five thousand dollars. Sorry for that for that trademark. That's what I want out of it. I'll put it in the market and turn it into something else later. Okay, Negs, you do that, sir. I got fucked over downtown. I fucked over. I did. I'm fully convinced I did now. Fully convinced he got fucked over downtown no, because... No, you can't hold me accountable. I'm gay. You cannot hold Negs accountable. He is gay. Period. Not accountable for anything. Uh, um, where I'm at is good. Where I'm at is good. Today, we were just... I had to close for a little bit due to... Uh, some family business, and then I came back and stayed open. And was... So, you know. I love it. <laughs> Your you know, trademark is worthless. I was open, and then I had Absolutely closed, and then I was having to get my kid, and I had to do all this other shit instead of running my business, and then I went back and opened, stayed open till six, right? I mean, that's what the fuck people are like, where you at, dude? Whatever, right? Whatever. The harder you work on yourself, the harder everybody fucking thinks that they can work you because they think you get, uh... What was that? What was that? He's getting violent. Did you guys see that? Kid? Whatever, right? Watch. Whatever. The harder you work on yourself, the harder everybody fucking thinks that they can work you because they think you get, uh... They think that you're better. They think you're getting better, so they work you harder. No, fuck you. I am not better. I still need protected, and I'm just going to do that myself. I'm going to do that myself, and then I'm going to protect myself. Protected? Because nobody can do it for me. They can't. I'm a grown-ass man. I got to I got, I got to protect myself. Right? Exactly. You're just realizing that, next. Oh, Lord help you. Hold on. I want to tap that back. Ten seconds. Maybe 20. No, fuck you. I am not better. I still need protected, and I'm just going to do that myself. I'm going to do that myself. You know? He is talking about disability. That's a slight at disability because they kicked him off disability and said he owed 30 grand. Had to pay back 30 grand that he wasn't entitled to. That is what he's talking about when he says he still needs to be protected. He's not better. I've never seen someone want to be weak, want to appear weak more than Negs. Never have I seen someone so desperate to appear weak and like a victim. Well, I'm going to protect myself. There's Terrible. nobody can do it for me. They can't. I'm a grown-ass man. I got to protect myself, right? 
Yes. Leave it. Feels like everybody around me just does whatever the fuck they want, and I, I'm, 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 I'm adhering to a straight schedule of making sure everybody can do what the fuck they want. Is he kidding? And instead of communicating with his significant other in a healthy way, he's down here telling live me, which it's the first time he's been on live me in months. So there was probably like 15 people in there listening to him rather than going and having a conversation about a big thing that just happened in your life together. You're being sued for $300,000 for breach of contract. And this is how he reacts to that and decides to make it better. Oh, I'm sure, Courtney Boucher. He says something about the kids don't have school tomorrow. Kid doesn't have school tomorrow when he starts playing guitar, which don't worry. I did not keep that in there. Do not worry. Would never. So. I don't want to lose anything else in my fucking life. So before people can take anything. I will destroy it. <laughs> you understand? Before people can think anything, I will destroy it. It's all mine. Don't, don't get too metaphorical with that. Don't get too metaphorical with that. That's just, that's just all mine shit. He's but I rumbles. guess, you know, if you're not, you know, down with people who are trying to better themselves and not getting in the way, then get the fuck out of my way because I got shit to do, you know? And that's that. With his blunt. His fucking Delta 8 blunt. I can't. Uh, you know, I got feel for me. Just know that, uh. Uh. But it's never gonna go. It's never gonna go away. It's never gonna go away. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. I understand. I understand. I, I'm not. I should have told you how to feel. What are you doing with your mouth there, after your little twitch fest with your collar? What was that little? That's some like twitchy. Look, watch, watch his lips. Very strange. I should have told you how to feel. That's my bad. Thank you, Beth. He does the little. That's my bad. I don't like people telling me how to feel. <laughs> What's this treasure chest up here? Oh, that must be a uh, gift-related coin. I feel that's my bad. There we go. There it is. Go okay. Away. Sorry. It's never going to Now go watch. Caller. Watch his... It's still doing it. I understand. I understand. I, I'm not, I should have told you how to feel. Too many Ronnie's Clonies. I should have told you how to feel. That's my bad. Thank you, Beth. That's my verdict. That's my bad. I don't like people telling me how to feel. <laughs> salty. What's this treasure chest up here? Oh, that must be a... Uh... Salty said he probably graduated to Delta 8, 9 or 10 now. Possibly. He's still acting like he's on the Delta 8, though. Uh, Gift-related coin drop that I put up ages ago. Speaking of... Coin drop. Anybody that remembers the password. And DC was not in this stream. Eventually, people ask where she is. Oh, yes, I got to set the password. She was not there throwing down Same uniforms. password as always. No, password I don't. Is Beth. And, uh, so Because it's nice. Deleting the rumble. You don't have Twitter. What do I do on Instagram? I don't use Snapchat, but to promote this shit. When I come on here, I bitch a little, then I play a lot of music, and we usually have a better time here. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm isolating myself. Again. Not good. He's blowing that out on the floor. Uh, I just want to go to work tomorrow and be left fucking alone by the world. 
That's what I want. I don't care if anybody buys anything or comes in. I just want to go there and be left the fuck alone. What a great outlook. That's like my fucking sanctuary, man. Like, I've been, like, I've been struggling with, like, my home. You know, like, does it feel like a home? Because everybody passes the address around, knows where I live, and has come here and tried to damage things, and people want me dead. It don't feel like a home. It feels like a target. You know, the store, every store is a target, so that's already taken out. But it's a sanctuary. Everybody knows where your store is. You announce your store's address. How is that your sanctuary? Okay, so let me get this straight. You own a store which relies on people buying things to make anything, but you want to go to your store and be left alone by the whole rest of the world. <laughs> Great for That's me. perfect. It's where I can go clear my head and clean that and, and stock my stuff. It's the goddamn money. He doesn't care if anyone buys anything. Uh, and I don't know what that is, but uh, como estas, mi amor, estoy corbin. Uh, no más pantalones. There you go. Okay, speaking to the speaking. Jen and Beth again. Always. Hey, I can actually do one of these in 41 seconds, I think, or maybe a minute and a half. I'm gonna take you guys over there when I do it because live me isn't like TikTok. Imagine being owned by China and tried to fucking. Be he can roll a blunt in 40 seconds. He's proud of that. I was proud to be able to roll a joint fast in literally high school, like 11th grade. He told us it's beside the only vape shop in Connorsville. Is he dumb? Yes. He absolutely told us the exact address. Talks about it every single day or used to before he nuked his rumble. Where would someone get some cannabis dip? So I know to stay away from it. Yes, that can of dip. He was so into that stuff. Exactly, Russ. Stop giving the address out. You don't want people visiting. Be like, oh, you can say whatever this. you want about white people, but don't you dare say anything about anybody else. The fuck is that word? But like, Wait, no, what? you can only talk negatively about white people. No. By China oh. and tried to fucking be like, oh, you can say whatever you want about white people, okay. but don't you dare say anything about anybody else. The fuck is that word? But like, no, you can only talk negatively about white people. That's how TikTok is, seriously. I pointed out an actual fact that somebody was wrong about, right? And the video got banned. He was wrong. <laughs> but this was on the screen, you see? Oh, poor Negs, the white man. We know the gig, baby. It's always so odd. Hey, man, we're the ones that get passed over uh, jobs for uh, over for jobs because they want to fill a quota. That don't sound like privilege to me. That sounds like a fucking disadvantage. I swear he has to. He always goes to like light racism whenever he's look at that face. You guys, he looks like one of the one, wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's horrible. He's back in the basement. Oh, he never took down the death monarch signs. Oh, this is tragic. So tragic. Eat the playing ground. Level playing ground. Everybody here looks the same. So there at the chat. <laughs> Glare at the chat. Oh, medicine. no, I'm about to, though. Come on. Let's do that. Oh, I'm getting... I ain't doing nothing illegal. This fucking shitty shit they provide us in Indiana. So you gotta smoke fucking 18 grams of it to even feel anything, so... 18 grams. This song is perfect. I'm gonna play this song again and turn it up. How much money does he spend on his Delta 8? You gotta smoke 18 grams of it to even feel anything. Then what's the point? You weirdo. You know what it's called? Hey, How Oprah. Apropos, it's called it's called I am hated. I don't know why I thought you guys were over there. Tyson's only has illegals working for them. I heard. Yeah, there's a Tyson's uh, chicken processing plant over here, <laughs> and a sausage a frozen warehouse. There's a, there's a lot of illegals that work in Indiana. To be honest with you. Every time they're not they're not going to say a whole lot when they can save a couple bucks. These greedy billionaires. What's up, Abby? How you doing? 
I'm back. Look, it's an actual leaf. Look, it's like, you know, of course it is. Because it's a wrap. And it has this little... That was an, it, it's an instructional book, but it's stupid. Like, you couldn't figure out how to do this, you know? Like, God damn. It recommends Chunky Bud. Well, sorry, buddy. I don't have any Chunky Bud. Thank you, Penny. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Penny. Giant 18 gram blunt. Uh, I don't know what to do about it, so I'm gonna fuck. I just got fucking ruined, and uh, I don't know what to do about it, so I'm gonna fuck off for a little bit and figure it out, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, what else can you do? What else can you do? I think I'm about ready to pick up the guitar here in a few minutes because uh, somebody's getting this age. But I nuked my Rumble account there you because, go. Um, honestly, I don't care. I stand behind my words, but be gone. Be gone. If I come back with a podcast, it's going to be so much better, like with actual, like, real real guests. Like You stand behind your words, but you nuked your Rumble as soon as you got word that somebody was suing you for the things that you said on there. That shows how much it means to him, how much his online part, like it has never actually meant anything because he's never got that instant gratification from it. So it means nothing and never has. That's why he's so fucking mad. But yes, honestly, I don't care. I stand behind my words, but be gone. Be gone. If I come back with a podcast, it's going to be so much better. Like with actual like real, real guests, like musicians and shit. Not trolls and lol cows. How many times? Sick of this shit. Every time this shit starts coming back around, it starts creating issues. So I'm just being proactive. I'm being proactive, my friends. <sighs> I can't. We, we can also compound this with the fact that nobody fucking listens to me. Oh, oh, oh. That's the DC. And somehow that always has an impact on me weird that's been going on since i was a kid dude it's because you signed an agreement to be bound to the same terms as dc and look at you throwing this on her what is the matter with you oh i need to go and find that in the freaking document why did i not pull that up was it in the part where they talked about neg like specifically The agreement between plaintiff and defendants. Oh, I wish I could find it. This is where I thought it was right here. Oh, well, I need to keep playing the video. Apologize. Everybody else has problems to come mind. Yes, he is. No. I have to find it. Have to find it. A little bit longer than 42 seconds, boys. But it'll do. Hey, Tally Oo. Uh, that's a lot of softness system. Does cost the best. Tally Oo's been a member for two months. It was toward the end, like an afterthought. Was it, Tally Oo? Thank Seven you. $7,000. Right Back there is a furnace. Cost me $6,000. Within the first six months of living here. It switches from 41 to 42. Yeah. I'm not good with math. Thanks for feeding the bear. Thank you, Bethemus. Always a champ. Thank you. Uh, where's my bag at? I don't think I had enough shrooms. I think I'm going to eat about 18 shrooms. I got six pounds in here. I'm going to eat them all right now. Fucking idiot. Not you, but him. Sorry, guys. I'm looking through. I'm reading. I will be back. Does my hat look like really big on my head this way? 
fucking doing that all day, man. I've just been like this all day. Just like, I can't fucking do it. Come see my grave. Oh, my bad. Come see my cage, built in my grave. Come see my cage. I can fucking bring a drink in here. No, I didn't. Why'd you guys let me do that for? Why? I'll be right back. No, you can't be right back, Nick. Oh, Dirty Uncle Sal. Oh. Member for two months. Yeah, it's a good bullshit. That furnace and its repair didn't cost him anything because he never paid for it. Hi, Al. Good to know, Dirty Uncle Sal. Thank you for that. Thank you for subscribing, mm, Carrie mm, Gen X. Mm, Emery's. Oh. No way, Emery's. You joined VI Pen Pals. Amazing. Mm, so you'll be getting mm, an April mm, letter. Um, and Thunder Rain, a member for three months, might be the weed but i feel like i'm losing it right now thunder rain you're not losing it it's okay you're just getting paranoid it's definitely the weed don't lose it i lost that freaking part of the court paperwork that i'm looking for it's driving me crazy but thank you yes who just emery's emery's you just joined vi pen pals i need you to email me oilwifelife uc at gmail.com <laughs> It also mm, says it mm, in the terms oh. of like where you joined for VI Pen Pals. It has my email address there too and my about section. And one more. Opa, you're the only reason he's capable of being viewed to me. I hope you and yours are doing well. The good vibes you bring and the wonderful community you've formed are unparalleled and appreciated. Thank you, Opa. Thank you. I love my community. We have a great time every stream. Good time. Okay, let me press play again. I promise out, I won't do this for Three long. Bucks. I'm going to find it. Yeah? Wait, what did he say? Dude, it's clean as fuck, too, man. Three bucks. His shirt? Like, he bought it at the Goodwill? I love that, actually. I fucking love me a good find. Three bucks. Yeah? Dude, it's clean oh, yeah. as fuck, too, man. There's always, like, six of those hanging at the Goodwill. Always. If my son ever needs a little spring jacket, oh, yes. I can always find a brand new Adidas or Nike one. Just like that. It's good Good for you, Neg. That's right. Save money. You're going to need it. You're being sued for 300 grand. Ooh. Three bucks. I'm trying to read about it. Where is it? Dude, I'm going to go fuck it. Where's the part where they talked about him paying $2,500? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I know where to look now. I know where to look. I'll tell you what, the air conditioning sure as fuck comes in down here, but I guess the heat doesn't. Is this thing even fucking open? What is it? Look at eight foot piece of duct tape covering it. Oh yeah. It's been like 43 or 39 today. Okay. That whole Puckatani Phil, Fuckatani Phil, whatever the fuck his name is. Fuck yeah. Punxatani Phil. How dare you, Negs. Anyways, you guys, I found the part that I was looking for. Here. That's, that, I, that wasn't what I wanted. I'm sorry. I showed you, uh, <laughs> store passionate Negs. Isn't that what we said that was? So here's the part where it talks about Negs agreeing and this is the better part that talks about him having to pay Hussey $2,500 because he already violated the settlement once. All Hussey had to do was send this. Look, I got to scroll. I'm sorry. Look at this. Screenshot this. Read it later. Pause. Whatever you need to do. Letter to defendant. Here, I'll make it a little bigger. If that works still for you guys. Honor about. October 29th, 2023. Can you see this? Let me check. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. On or about October 29th, 2023, on a live stream titled Live Monty Bitch Slaps the Crying Ground, defendant, this is Corbin, defendant Corbin shared a derogatory and offensive video of plaintiff Chukashian, which is Hussey, resulting once again 
again, in a violation of the terms of the party's agreement. As a result, on November 15th, the plaintiff's counsel submitted a demand letter to the defendant explaining that, and see, this talks about it, and he says down here, the demand requested, the demand requested of $2,500 is reasonable considering the extent of the damages caused solely by your actions. And then down here, I know it's redacted, but that's Corbin accepted the terms of this new request and made the $2,500 payment. Still, defendants Clara and Ron continued acting in the same violating manner by publicly humiliating and disrespecting the terms of the settlement signed by the parties. Parties. There's another part where it talks directly about Neg's agreeing, and I'll probably still be glancing for it when I can. But yes, Neg's signed the agreement right along with Clara that he cannot talk about hussy in any derogatory manner or even promote someone talking about hussy in a derogatory manner. And here's Neg saying that it's everybody else's fault but his that this is happening. You are such a man child. That's all bullshit. Anybody believes that shit? Hey, I got a bridge to sell you. This is Indiana. Spring comes when she's ready. <laughs> Punxsutawney Phil. Yay, we won. Let's see who did it. Oh, it's Beth. I'm going to go ahead and just thank you and hit again. Okay, Beth? Beth. Beth I got that habit of giving the money. thumbs up every time. Like, it's Beth. Thank you. It's Beth again. It's me. I just heard some documentary just dropped on this uh, on oh about Nickelodeon. God. And everybody's traumatized by it. So I'm going to check it. Like, I can rant, dude. Okay. And God, I, I need to just get off Facebook social media. Now. I just need to, like, do my little guitar streams here and get the fuck off Facebook and be Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, also, I figured if I, uh, fuck, dude, I got it. I, I need to just get off social media. I just need to, like, do my little guitar streams here and get the fuck off Facebook and be done. Because I ranted today. Like, I can rant, dude. Damn and it. And they're not incoherent. Okay? I put a lot of, I, I don't want to, I don't want to come off crazy with all this, you know, spellings and capital. So I really go through my rant. Oh, I so wish did I, I So did I, Jana. Nickelodeon was my babysitter. It's awesome. I mean, a lot of. I, I don't want to. I don't want to come off crazy with all this, you know, spellings and capital. So oh, I really sorry. go through my That's rant. Repeating for some reason. So did I. So did I, Jana. Oh, you moron! Oh, fuck it, wrong. Put that shit down. Stop smoking that. Get up, uh, people like this. Give me that. God damn! Is that a? Is that a little person? See. Oh, okay. He's been smoking this entire time. There's so many TV shows. I hate. I. I really dislike. Everything. I don't like what the world is coming. I don't like what the world is now. I don't. He dislikes everything. Don't you even dare, sir. Don't you even dare talk about missing the good old days. You don't appreciate the good old days at all, sir. You are not like an old soul. Maybe you miss the good old days because you think it was like easier to live back then and things weren't as expensive. But don't you dare act like you have some connection back to the you. All you can say is bad things about the past, getting beat up in school and whatever else, bullied, hanging out with kids that would punch other kids for you. So miserable. I can't. <laughs> Good old days while you stand there smoking your Delta 8 in your Compton hat. Can't remember what the fuck I just said. Wow. That was this. I dissociated. Ah, wow. Wow, dude. It's like driving. Like, like I, mean, I, used to, I drove this same strip. It's straight. To go pick my kids up for like, you know, 15 years. Right. And still drove it to go, to go see them and stuff. And there's this part. There's between this. There's this part between this one mile marker and this town where you dis dissociate completely. And you don't remember driving it. Great story, Neg. That was a great tale. Riveting. Yeah, um, I think I'm just, I think I got some problems. You I think, think I got real serious issues. 300 grand worth. Like, you know, I, I keep having these spells where I feel like I'm either going to pass out, throw up, or... Uh, <laughs> 
like today I had one at work. I yeah, look, I look. broke out in, in an all <laughs> like warm sweat. I had to strip off my fucking. Uh, it literally is. I'm not even saying this shadingly towards the homeless because do what you got to do. The homeless deserve nice clothes too. But like how they put out boxes for homeless, like in the summer, I could go to one of those events and find that exact outfit that he's wearing right now. You're absolutely right. He looks homeless or underprivileged. He looks like he went through the take what you need box up at the up at the community cafe or connections cafe. Sorry, Charmin. Connections cafe. He did, didn't he? Negs. They do that too. I saw it on their website. Negs took all this shit out of the take what you need bin at the old connections cafe. Mm mm mm. Bitches about the place not being open enough. Charmin shouldn't get paid for her work, but he'll take out of the bin, won't he? When he goes to see his psychiatrist, he also utilizes their therapy services. Sweatshirt. I felt like I was going to throw up right in the middle of my goddamn floor. What? And it was just awful. And these have been happening all the time. And I'm like, I am sick. I'm sick. And it, it just feels like nobody fucking cares, man. <laughs> like, I'm fucking sick. What? Oh, about dissociation. Since when are you sick? And why does nobody care? It's like, I'm fucking sick, man. You just opened a store. You've never said a word about being sick. What kind of sickness are you? What kind of sickness do you have? He's sick now? This is news to it, me. It just feels like nobody fucking cares, man. Like, I'm fucking sick. I think he means mentally. Oh, about dissociation. I think he means mentally sick. Mentally. Like I'm fucking so physically ill, and I'm, I'm and I'm minding my own goddamn business. I shouldn't be in this shape when I'm not doing anything to anyone. What? Do you not remember the past like month? Not even just the past month, like the hussy stuff. You've been saying crazy shit about hussy being a predator for years, but you have thrown away any relationship you had left with anybody local you literally picked up your store after you were only open for like a month total like the actual amount of days you were open you picked up the whole thing and moved it completely out of downtown saying that downtown fucked you over <laughs> living mudley says we don't care negs i can't that would make me look dumb to say that though because i'm sitting here watching them i care negs okay i care I will try to fix you. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Not like a guy fixes a crazy bitch. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> I'm not going to fix things like that. Don't worry, DC. You know, like certain people want to say, you know, I'm sick. I'm sick until I, I need to dox and threaten women. There he fucking goes. I'm, I'm, my, I'm literally sick. For, yeah, it is the stress because I've been to the doctor. They can't find anything wrong. So it's stress. And how long before that stress gives me a heart attack? <sighs> Well, that's true. I don't think I don't think about that shit every fucking day, especially over the last month. I thought I had cancer or something. I was fucking terrified. I went to the doctor, you know, and was like, they're like, you know, nothing mimics that. So that's what that it's a stress. You Yes. Cope. You have never learned to cope ever. You still want instant gratification from everything or you don't put anything into it. You can't keep your store open a full day. Because you're not getting instant gratification of a line of customers in your specialty shop, Negs. You opened a specialty shop. I just want to shake him. You shake him, DC. You're close enough. You can tell she's not. Therapy, well, listen, it's not whatever, like nobody gives a shit about me, okay? It's, I should say that nobody cares because there are people who care. There's just nothing they could do. A, a stress test may be, may, may be next, but I got stuff. I, I can't do that for... If your it would be like, it'd be like a week a before I could do... Maybe a month before I could even do something sure. like that. Thanks for sharing the broadcast. He's so jaded. So jaded. Oh, come on. Don't be so dramatic, Neg. How rude to your audience. How rude. 
still developing the proper support support unit. Because, I mean, like, you know, what? well, my ailment is mental illness. and uh, Oh, here, someone asked what his ailment was. Like, look at you, big pimping in your hearse. Well, my ailment is mental illness, and uh, uh, I'm still developing the proper support support unit. Because, I mean, like, you know, I'm not going to sit here and name who is and isn't good at it because not everybody knows how to handle mental illness. My kid, that boy, number one. Yeah. Because he communicates with me. He's like, you all right? And I'm, I'll tell it. Like, <laughs> so that's nice. Uh, when that, that is so sweet, and I'm so glad you have that close relationship with your son. But there's a codependency thing there, Negs, that that shouldn't be how it is. Like, I used to kind of think that way about my oldest daughter, and then when she moved out, it, like, I didn't know what to do. My best friend was gone. I get what you mean by it. But you cannot lean on your son, even though, yes, he's entering adulthood. He needs to be able to lean on you. You're his dad. Like, he needs to know he can come to you without breaking you by telling you something. Like how you went crazy whenever the school, the thing happened with the school. He called some girl a skank, and I forget what the girl did back to him, but there was a whole thing, and Negs came on the internet and started talking about the principals, talking about the school, because his son was having a hard time in school. It, he, you're not supposed to have that kind of codependence with your kid. Like, I'm, I'm, real, I'm glad that he has. I'm not trying to say that like an asshole. I'm not judging anyone's parenting. I'm not doing that. I am not the perfect parent. I'm just saying that's not healthy because I myself have had to be told that by other adults. You know, that's just not the right relationship to have with your kid. And it's true. And you'll be a lot healthier whenever you realize that your relationship will be stronger. Ask yourself why you're not talking to your other son. You blame Z for ending your relationship with your other son. But clearly, I could have money selling my that's not kids what it is. if I was allowed to sell them. Crash Cooter Coot says, specialty shop. What fucking specialty? Shit made by Chinese slave child labor? Crash, is that not stuff that is a niche group of people to buy it? Whether it is QV sh QVC shopping, grandmas, or what it may, whatever it may be. That is called a niche audience of people that want Chinese slave labor knickknacks, okay? Don't you question it, Crash. It is specialty. I'm just trying to tell him he has to stay open at least the posted hours in a place where only a choice number of people might need to go to pick something up. That's what I'm trying to push with the specialty shop. <laughs> Thank you, though, Crash. Now he's 16. I'm like, no, I'm not okay, dude. I don't want to lie to him. Um, you know, I, I quit faking it since he's got... Now that he's 16. Ooh, now that he's 16, I can trauma dump on him. Ooh. Oh, I'm like, no, I'm not okay, buddy, but it's not you. It's it's my brain. My brain. My brain is sick. You don't and he understands. Because he understands his autism because he knows how to research things. Unlike a lot of people that do commentary. <laughs> Please don't talk about little negs like he's that. He is very high functioning. So don't be like, oh, buddy, you're kind of downplaying his intelligence. He's very high functioning autism. And I don't know why Negs is talking about him like he's like a seven year old. He's not. You right. can't say that you confide your mental health in your autistic son and also buddy like he's low on the spectrum. He's not. The so I'm trying to find victim. proper appropriate you're support. You know? but it's not. I mean, like it's 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 inconsistent. It's, you know, I mean, you, I can't rely on a 16-year-old kid, 15-year-old kid for, I can't lay everything on him. I just tell him, are you okay? No. Are you okay? Yes. Sometimes I don't believe me if I'm okay you, but good. When I'm in a perfectly good mood because I don't realize the look on my face and like, because I wear my, my mood on my face and sometimes that face is just there. My resting bitch face. Yeah. He's very smart and he does. He's always like, just yeah. take it easy and relax. You know, go take it easy and rest is what he tells me. Do you guys see that? Hi, AJ. How are you? Ugh. Yeah, we talk, we we speak like we've we've been like brothers more than dad Ugh. and son. But I still treat him like a son, you know. And my he's my son, my best friend, my brother, my confidant. Oh, see, no, no. 
And in Neg's case, that's just even worse because he has pushed everyone else out of his life. That's why his son and his son has to be there because he's a minor. He's not he can't move out and get his own place or anything. God, what's that going to be like when Negs becomes an empty nester? Because I'm sure that little Negs would like to probably exit that house as quickly as possible. Maybe not. I could be wrong. I shouldn't assume things. He's not quite an adult yet. Who the hell just don't hide the crap? God damn it. For sure. Who the hell do that? Um... Out of all the assholes who have passed in my life, all the dickheads, the women, the crazy fucking bitches, the cunts, all those people, he's never gone anywhere. I know. He couldn't. He's, <laughs> he's a minor. He's my child. He couldn't go anywhere, right? right? But he's never distanced himself from me. There was a point in his life where, you know, when he was becoming a young man where he, you know, stayed to himself, but he has never shut me out or, you know, anything like that. That's good. Eggs, eggs live. That's me. Does that help promote me or something in the algorithm? The live me out algorithm. 180 viewers. Yeah, guys, I have bad news for all of you. Uh, the coin drops are, uh, I don't know what I did with that last one. Did I even put a password in? What did I do with it? I don't even know. Let's do another one. Oh, my it's word. It's like when you I get a bag. Let's do me. another one. <laughs> hate it. Just play music down here and I'm going to. Put the speakers back behind this chair, and I'm gonna hook a TV up, and I'm gonna bring a PlayStation 4, or I'm just gonna fucking buy another Xbox no. XS. Why no. not? And uh, have an Xbox, and I got a big 48 inch flat screen, whatever the TV upstairs. We'll bring it, put it down here, uh, hook it up to this thing, and it'll be bombs. Back I'll to just, the I won't thing. leave here. I won't even go to work. I'll just sit down here and play video games and get baked. If it keeps me stress free and from having a heart attack, then great. Cool. Wait, what? Did he say I won't even go to work? What? What? I uh, have an Xbox and I got a big 48 inch flat screen, whatever, the TV upstairs. We'll bring it up, put it down here. Uh, hook it up to this thing and it'll be bombs. I'll just, I won't leave here. I won't even go to work. I'll just sit down here and play video games and get baked. Don't even joke like that. If it keeps me stress free and from having a heart attack, then great. Cool. Nobody likes a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, Beth killing it out there. Is Blake's site, it's MF Life, is it still Beth. like no coins or has he still got some weird fucking hoop, jump through hoops thing on there? I want to get to the part where they ask where DC is. That kind of sends them on a little tirade. Less stress, be best. That's right. Like, you know, the kid, I mean, like, I'm shocked. Like, you know, most teenagers are difficult. He's almost 16. He causes me no problems. Oh, I need to find that thing. No pro Zero fucking problems, man. He's been like, all my kids have been like that, though. They've all been really great, polite young men. So... Yeah, see? We had good kids, man. And I was an only child. I guess maybe, you know, me getting all the attention, basically. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I really don't remember, if you recall. But, uh, you know, being an only child, like, you know, I, I, I was always given affirmations, right? And, and spoken to in a respectful way. I was never told I was stupid by my mother or my father or anything. My dad would rib me, but that's man shit. Men are, men are always emasculating one another. You can't fucking, you can't hold that shit against your dad. <laughs> you can't, you can't, because I mean, like, whatever. Uh, he was very good to me. He provided for me. He's a good man. Still is. Still is a good man. Um, I know Negs is fe feeling his oats. Is that how it's said? But I found that other part in the new lawsuit right here for people that didn't get to see it because it was just huge. Like, everybody realized how crazy, because most of us didn't know. Most of us weren't aware that Negs was bound to this agreement. And now here he is still bitching, saying it's everyone else's fault but his. But yet he signed his name on the dotted line. So it says, 
This is where we found out about the $7,500. So that was the big fat check that Clara had to pay Hussey. Uh, paid the $7,500. And then it says the parties agreed that they would not interfere with or create any negative impact on each other's business or personal lives. The parties agreed not to cause any harm or disturbance to each other, including but not limited to posting any negative reviews or comments about the other party on any platforms, whether real or virtual. The parties agree not to take, support, encourage, induce, or voluntarily participate in any action or attempted action that would negatively comment on, disparage, or call into question the character or business operations of the other party or any of the released parties or to any or to act in any way that would damage the reputation or business relationships of the other party except as required by law. C. Ronald, which is Negs, who was not a party to the defamation matter, agreed to be bound by the no disparagement clause and endorsed his signature at the end of the document. So it is signifying. So right there, Ronald Horbin, who was not a party to the defamation matter, it even says it there. God, Hussey's attorney probably jerks off on that piece of paper. Ronald, who was not a party to the defamation matter, agreed to be bound by the no disparagement clause and endorsed his signature at the end of the document. So it is signifying. How dare you say, walk around and say four and four. I don't call that a win. Right there, Negs. That is a loss right there. You got made to adhere to something that was a case you weren't even involved in. And you had to sign on the dotted line that you would be a good boy for DC. I can't even believe Ron did that. I cannot even believe he was willing to do that. Maybe he does like her a little bit. He likes the... Yeah. Aunties. That's what he likes. We've gotten closer Hi, lately. It's been interesting. Um, your butt? Hey, thank you, Beth the Miss. Thank you, Jana. And thank you, Penny. Jeffully. Just on like jingle. Where's Clara? Somewhere in the house. Oh, there it is. There it is. Somewhere in the house. Let's see that again. Where's Clara? Somewhere in the house. Very nonchalant. Not in the chat. Slipper, not a sock. Nice. Obvious troll. Don't, don't block him. Just let him hang out. It's cool. What'd the guy say? Maybe eventually people, if they hang out long enough, they'll uh, see that, is sh that I'm kind of boring. Really. He's I'm saying boring. that the oh, person that asked who DC was is a troll. It was called, sli their account was Slipper Not Slipper. Oh, I brought it over here, didn't I? Oh, there it is. This is like the longest Slipknot song in history. Dude, I can't believe I got this Adidas go for three bucks. Come on, man. He's so tired. I actually, it wasn't even three bucks. It was three bucks. I got this and an Adidas hoodie for six bucks. And the lady gave me a corn shirt. And all she wanted was like some bags for her shop. And I have like more bags than I need. You know, like I got like 2,000 of these bags. I'm not going to have 2,000 customers this year. So I love that. He's bartering. I love it. Ooh, so close. 641-8675309. That was a good guess. I don't know. That's random as fuck, though. But I mean, like. You guys, I'm running out of my energy. Good try. This is a fuck. How long is this? I want to go snuggle with my minutes. hubby and have a brownie Sunday. That sounds really good. I think now that we heard the DC part. He pretty much after this just goes on to play his guitar. I don't think he says too much. I think we got to all the really crazy shit that he said as far as saying that he would like to sell everything in his shop for 10 grand flat. He'd do it tomorrow if someone offered him 10K. Of course he would. There's like $2,000 worth of Timu shit in their negs. What are you talking about? Okay, 2500 including the white guitar and all the guitar stands. All right, let me get our little outro song. Yes, it is Snuggle and Brownie Sunday time. You guys, I've made three batches of brownies in the past two weeks. Not even like full two weeks, like five day, two weeks span. Three 
nine by na- nine pound or pans, sorry, of brownies. I'll have to show you guys on Twitter. I have perfected my brownie recipe and we cannot stop. Me and the kids cannot stop eating brownie sundaes. Like you make the brownies warm and put vanilla ice cream and hot fudge on top. Oh, there's just like nothing better, especially when they're first baked and they cool enough to cut. Oh, and you make them fresh. I can't. I'm like addicted. I swear I might as well call it addiction. I am addicted to brownie sundaes at the moment. (laughs) They're so good. There's just nothing better. Hey, straight talking fedora chicks. Glad you made it. Thank you, everybody. There's still almost 600 people here. You guys sticking around. I love that. Such a fun chat today. Hang on. I'm going to start the little song. I just don't want it to blast your eardrums. There we go. We need to check in on Mary and pull out a few more transcripts. I just, I had my fill of Mary and just was so mad about all the last documents that we talked about with her. So I took a little break from it, just a mental reset. But yes, I am not done with Mary. I will never be done with Mary. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not like that. Cincinnati Fireball, we stoners are now starved. Thank you, Salty. Thank you for being here, RBF. Hardcore. So good to see you, lovely. Psych for life. Oh, my Twitter is at the original owl. At the original owl. It's the word the. I'm almost positive. I'm going to double check (laughs) that I didn't just tell you the wrong thing, but I'm almost positive. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to gift my other five memberships for the month real quick, too. I forgot about that. But, yes, my Twitter is at the original owl. So, thank you. Give me a follow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go in and gift five memberships real fast (laughs) i think i have five left still for this month youtube gives us 10 a month that we can just gift on our own if we want to just gift the people i think that's so nice so cool there it is membership gifting oh maybe i didn't did i already do it you gifted all 10 okay i already did it it says i've done my fill for the month I get too excited. excited. I love doing that. (laughs) YouTube's like, wait, bitch. Don't be greedy, bitch. Okay. Well, then that's it, I guess. I got to go do some timestamps. That was a fun stream. A fun Saturday stream. I hope everyone has an awesome Sunday. We're going to be coloring Easter eggs. And my daughter has to make her Easter bonnet parade hat. You have to decorate a little, like, wicker Easter hat. Wicker, is that what they're called? You know, the little woven Easter hats that the little girls wear. So, yeah, we got to hot glue a bunch of Easter grass and eggs, and we got little tiny carrots, little, not real carrots, like little fake Easter-looking carrots. So, yeah, that's going to be fun, of course. Love using the hot glue gun with a second grader. Love it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out and all the support. We got so many new members this stream. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you to anyone that gifted that doesn't come up in alerts. Thank you. I always make sure I see them afterwards. So thank you. And Rocky came to say goodbye. You say bye? Yeah, you're done. Okay, Rocky's done. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Their caffeine, nicotine, preferred controlled substance of choice. I hope so. They're going to need it for this trip. No, no, you can't hold me accountable. I'm gay.